Hello everybody, my name is Roman Stadlmeier. I'm a consultant in Austria and working together with Antares NetLogix. Um, today I'm going to show you how you can create a hardware request offering uh, with the combination of System Center Service Manager, um, System Center Orchestrator and the hardware asset management pack from Provence. Um, so let's see the user side of this on the first hand. Uh, you see the self-service portal, uh, which is in German in my case, but I will explain it in English so every non-German speaking uh, listener should, ex should understand what I do here. Um, service offering is um, hardware related stuff and here we get a hardware request. So what the user has to do is quite easy. The user gets a list in the form of um, available hardware models. So in, in Provence terms spoken, these are hardware catalog items. So let's select this Optiplex uh, 790 box um, machine here and argumentation. Need this for my job. And the user can additionally uh, select the date when this should be installed latest. Um, we simply submit this here and get a service request ID which helps us to track what's happening with this service request. Um, as you see the service request has three activities inside. The first one is an approval activity uh, which will send me an email shortly to approve this. Um, the second one is a runbook activity, which uh, starts a runbook uh, doing some asset management stuff in the background. And the third one is a manual activity, which is the physical installation of the system, physical movement to the end user. Um, the approval activity will be active shortly and send me an email. Here it is. So I got an email from System Center Service Desk with review I activity ID, this one. And all I do is I simply paste here the description why this hardware asset is needed. And with a quick step in Outlook, I simply approve it, paste in here, genehmigt, approved, into the email and send it back. So the Exchange Connector will pick up this mail, um, match it to the uh, appropriate review activity and set the activity in approved status. The workflow will then uh, activate the runbook activity in the background. So until that happens, um, switch back to the service manager console and show you uh, the hardware store. So this is the store here. And as you see, we got a couple of systems. We got some docking stations. Uh, three desktop systems, four monitors, and uh, some notebooks. And <coughs> these are the ones we selected. What we actually selected is not the asset. What we did is we selected the hardware catalog item, which is some sort of standardized model. And out of that, in the IT asset management, you can order or set status and create hardware assets. So please check that um, now there are three systems in it. And after the runbook runs, there should be one less because the runbook simply selects uh, the model, check, takes one of them and sets it to installed. Um, let's go back to the self-service portal and see if the runbook already started, which should be in a second, already there. And what the runbook does, I'm going to show you in the runbook designer. Uh, this is the runbook uh, created for this hardware request. Uh, the first step is I just hand over the runbook activity GUID. Then I get the runbook activity object uh, with the handed over data here. Um, I need the service request itself. So I do this with the get relationship. Uh, select runbook automation activity, 
the GUID from the runbook and the related classes service request. And then I get the service request object with the related object um, GUID from the step in front, from this one here. Okay, so additionally, I get the related manual activity, the one where the field support will um, move the physical machine to the end user. <coughs> I get the manual activity object, and I get the related hardware item, because the <coughs> hardware catalog item <coughs> is related to the runbook activity. Uh, so what we see here is I simply select the runbook activity, se select the GUID, and want to know which hardware catalog item is related to it. Then I get the object of the catalog item, because I need the display name of it. And then I check how many hardware assets are on stock. This is done by simply selecting the hardware asset class and I just say if the display name is containing the model from the hardware catalog item plus the lifecycle is stored. So if these two parameters match, um, Orchestrator will get back any hardware asset of this type which is stored. So we don't need all of them, we just need one of them. Um, and if you have 100 on stock, uh, this object will push you back 100 objects. Um, this can be easily solved with the flatten option here. So I publish all the data in one line separated by a comma. Needed in the next step because the hardware asset installed takes just the first one. So even if you have 100 of them, uh, the GUIDs will, ha will be in one line separated by this comma here. And with this um, expression here, we just take the first object of it and set the lifecycle status to installed. Uh, additionally, to make the life easier for the field support, um, I publish some data into the description field and tell them, dear field support, the service request with this title and ID um, was requested and approved. Please install hardware with this display name and serial number. Lifecycle is already set to installed. So the hardware field support should know what to do. And to make the life even more easier, um, we link the hardware asset which is selected to the manual activity so they can directly open it and set the parameters like organization, location, affected user and so on. So this stream I didn't um, explain so far uh, because if, if, if the stock is running low on, on hardware assets I thought um, I do a, a change, I open a change request because if the number of objects of the get stock activity here is less than four, we trigger a change request. And this change request um, simply is for the asset manager telling him how the stock uh, for this specific catalog item is low. It tells as well the number of objects, please order hardware your service desk and here I do this I do the prefix for the change request which is not automatically done by orchestrator. Um, I additionally link the hardware catalog item to the change request and inside the change request is a manual activity um, and this manual activity is here a little, little it's a little bit correction because I just set the ID here with the right prefix so that you get it in the views. Okay, but this is just cosmetics here. Um, the runbook is finished, so it's uh, six o'clock in the evening here. 
if we go back to the service manager console and refresh this um, view, you see one is missing. So DT003 left the stock and moved into this folder um, saying it's installed. So from a CMDB point of view, this should be installed. And there should be one activity. Um, this is this is an old one, just ignore it please. Um, it's the 1866. Just checking here, 1866, that's the one we need. <coughs> this is what field support is um, getting this service request with this ID, please install the hardware with the serial number. <coughs> and the hardware asset here is linked to the manual activity, so field support can go into and um, set, for example, organization, like uh, this is sales, and set the location, like whatever it is, um, it's here. Okay, so we update this object manually, um, apply this, set it as um, finished, and close it, and that's it. The activity is finished, and the user, um, if he updates his side um, of the self-service portal, he will see that everything is finished and should have a new hardware. Additionally, um, we opened this uh, change request, which is here, um, order some hardware, it's in progress. Um, I paste in here the model number has a low stock, it's three, please order new hardware and the asset manager gets the catalog item and can open it. Has the option to click this button which is very nice done from Provence, few related hardware assets. Um, so he sees, okay, there are two of them stored, three of them are installed, so I simply have to buy new stuff. Okay, um, inside the change request is this manual activity, and the manual activity uh, tells me, where is it, uh, in progress, order some hardware, and uh, probably do that in the description as well. Okay. Yeah, and that's it. So this was the harder request and uh, I hope you enjoyed what you saw. In the second part, which will be published shortly, I'm gonna explain you how you set up all the templates and the request um, input from the user to make this work. See ya.